An Albuquerque teacher says she felt helpless after hundreds of books she bought with her own money were destroyed. It happened when a burst pipe flooded her classroom. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live at Monta Vista Elementary School with much more on how the community effort is helping her restock that classroom library. Stephanie. Dean Jess Lisa Troxell says she was heartbroken when she saw all the damage a small flood caused, especially after learning the district was not going to help her replace those books. Lisa Troxell has been teaching kindergarten for nearly 10 years. Over those years, she's purchased hundreds of books for her students to enjoy. A few weeks ago, her classroom library was destroyed when a pipe burst. I had no idea how I was going to replace all those books. Adding to the heartache, Lisa says she was told by APS that the district would not replace any of the books because they weren't APS property. APS wouldn't confirm if that's true, and they only said they're not sure whether Lisa filed a claim with risk management. The district went on to say, quote, the students still have their textbooks. Parents at the school say textbooks aren't enough. To give just textbooks is uh, kind of a slap in the face. Well, and <laughs> textbooks are lovely, but we know how important reading is. And so to get students a variety of books to read feels like a very important thing. A few of Lisa's friends created a GoFundMe campaign, raising money for her to rebuild her collection. And within nine days, donors have helped raise more than $2,000. It tells me that my community really cares about the kids. Comments like these found on the page prove the community also values Lisa, saying, quote, Lisa and Mary, the girls love you guys. And Lisa is a terrific teacher. I already have like 100 books. She says her students can't wait to read all the new stories that will fill her bookshelves. Lisa told me that so often teaching can be a thankless job, but because of all of the outpouring of support from the community, she realizes just how respected teachers are. Back to you. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Lisa says she's also received books in the mail from teachers all around the country who learned about the flood on Facebook.